so <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, but until fairly recently, I did not know much about the world of decorative goose collecting. A friend of mine was talking to a friend of hers, and her friend mentioned how she used to have to change the clothes on the family's lawn goose. And my friend was like, what? And her friend was like, oh, you know, one of those concrete geese that you would dress in clothing. You know the kind. And my friend did not know the kind. And until she shared this story with me, neither did I. But decorative lawn geese are indeed a thing, mostly in the Midwest. And starting in the 80s, it became a trend to also add little homemade outfits for them. So enterprising retailers have been out here selling outfits to dress geese for all occasions. And one such business is gooseclothesgalore.com. And Goose Clothes Galore, founded in 1981, claims to be the first to make goose clothes available for sale to the general public. That's according to their About Us page, which has not been updated since 2004. <laughs> goose Clothes Galore is a website by people who don't understand the internet for people who don't understand the internet. There are multiple pages on the site dedicated to reassuring customers that it is okay to buy things online with a credit or debit card. But... <laughs> They do offer options for you to pay over the phone or by mailing a physical check in the mail. One no longer functional page explains what a cursor is. It's the arrow. Navigating this website feels like a portal to another time because much better platforms for building a modern professional looking website have emerged since 2004. Um, but none of them sponsor me at the moment, so I will not be naming names. And anyway, I'm here to talk about the content of GooseClothesGalore.com, where their motto is, a well-dressed goose is a happy goose. Goose Clothes Galore is appropriately named. They have so many goose outfits. I will say there's a ton of pretty basic looks on the site. Um, lots of little ruffly dresses with matching bonnets, sweaters, just like normal human clothes scaled down, but for a goose. But for a higher level goose aficionado, you've got so many options. You've got outfits with more of a theme, like the witch. You know, something you could dress your goose in for Halloween. It's seasonal, it's fun, it's a costume. And then there's things like the crow, which actually completely obscures the entire body of your goose and turns it into a completely different bird that's wearing a bow tie with a sunflower on it for some reason. But at least that is still a bird, because then you've got things like the kitty cat costume and it's like, what are we even doing here? I'm fascinated. I have spent so much time perusing these goose outfits. Uh, some of them are really good. Some of them I have notes. So today, I would like to rank the best and worst goose outfits for sale on gooseclothesgalore.com. <laughs> these goose outfits can't all be winners. The number 10 worst goose outfit is Ms. Mouse. It's funny to me that every goose outfit comes with a disclaimer that the design is copyright protected, um, but then Ms. Mouse is just clearly a ripoff of Minnie Mouse, a famously extremely copyrighted character. The Mr. Mouse is less blatant, but with Ms. Mouse, it's like, come on. The polka dots, the bow, the big gloves. The only difference is the gray ears and arms. Uh, which, to be clear, are worse. That's way worse than Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It's too much like a real mouse. It's gross. The copy for Mr. Mouse says, Our Mr. Mouse is one you will want to have around. Um, but I disagree. Number nine is the Firemen. Overall pretty good, but they completely gave up when they got to the hat. Number eight is the Doctor. I just think that this one's funny in a bad way. Like, it's poorly done in a way that makes me laugh. Those scrubs look more like a hazmat suit, I guess, because it's just really hard to make clothes in the proportion for a goose. Um, and the mask is really struggling to cover the beak. It's got a head mirror, which modern doctors don't even have anymore. I, I get that they're going for like the most recognizable stereotype of the profession, um, but it just looks like a sad piece of tin foil. The copy for this one says that the medical instruments will vary from the ones shown, which is good because I actually wouldn't want that stethoscope. It does not look very professional to me. Um, honestly, with the colorway, it looks like one of those Skip It toys from the 90s. I think that the other instrument shown is one of those things that doctors put in your ear. Is that a thermometer? <laughs> I'm reviewing goose outfits in my bedroom. Like, I'm clearly not a medical professional. Anyway, it's one of those things. But at first glance, I thought it was a vial of blood which would be fun. Number seven on the worst list is Little Miss Muffet. Of all the references you could make with your concrete goose, 
why would you choose this one? Do you think that passersby would see a goose with a comically large spider on it and even clock it as a reference to this nursery rhyme? The outfit comes with a cup of curds and whey, which I don't think is a popular enough dish to really be recognizable, especially at this scale. And then it doesn't come with a tuffet, which I think is famously Little Miss Muffet's defining accessory. Bad concept, bad execution. I don't see why you would buy this for your goose. Number six is the snowman. I suppose that this is as well executed as it could be, but I just don't think the concept was viable from the jump. You really can't make a concrete goose look convincingly like a snowman. There are two versions of the snowman outfit. Um, note that the red hat snowman has visible coal buttons, indicating that it's a snowman. And the other one doesn't. It's just wearing a coat. So ultimately nothing about this reads snowman at all. The white face is the same color as the goose's head, and then the carrot nose just looks like the beak. The result is that it looks like a goose wearing a goose costume, perhaps a goose in disguise as a different, more distinguished goose. One quick note, you can actually stuff the bodies of these costumes with plastic bags uh, to make it look more snowman-like, but I think that opens the door up to a lot of artistic expression here. Have fun with it. Number five is go in, bowl in. These apostrophes kill me. <laughs> you can put apostrophes uh, at the end of the words to replace the G's that you're dropping on those gerunds, but it makes no sense to just cram them in the middle of the words willy-nilly. It's not even a particularly good phrase for bowling. Um, I feel like you hear go and fishing because people might be gone for the whole day, but I don't think that go and bowling is that commonly used. Also, there are bowling shirts. That's a very recognizable style, uh, but these geese aren't wearing them. Maybe it's just hard to make a bowling shirt at this scale, but could they at least like put a bowling pin on the sweater? There are male and female go in bowling outfits, um, but the female one specifically makes this list because I don't know why she's wearing a tam shanter Number four is Lady Liberty. That is not what the Statue of Liberty looks like. Perhaps if you asked a European child to draw the Statue of Liberty, you'd get something like that. The real Lady Liberty does not wear the stars and stripes, and her headpiece does not look like Rick Sanchez hair. Number three is the Firefly. I hate it. I hate this goose. This is easily the most nightmarish costume for sale on gooseclothesgalore.com, and I disagree with their assertion that it has a funny yet friendly face. Number two is the pig. We need to abolish the police everywhere, starting with the inventory on gooseclothesgalore.com. Just looking at this outfit made me realize that there are absolutely homes in this country that feature a cop goose on the lawn under a thin blue line flag. This goose outfit comes with a gun so that your goose can murder civilians and then be put on a cushy paid administrative leave. Fuck the police and fuck this goose outfit. The number one worst outfit is the Indian Maiden. This is the most racist outfit for sale on gooseclothesgalore.com, so it was not a difficult pick. It's just a general Native American stereotype, clearly not informed by any specific tribe. Native Americans are real people, and I don't think that the wide variety of cultural traditions of the indigenous peoples of North America should be reduced to a caricature intended as a costume for a concrete goose. Now it's time to move on to the good ones. There are so many good goose outfits to talk about. I actually ended up with more than 10 on the best list and then also two honorable mentions I want to shout out. So the first honorable mention goes to one of the customizable options. Goose Clothes Galore offers a lot of different options that you can customize with your name or the name of your school or things like that. They offer a lot of different sports uniforms uh, or the goose equivalent, which is just like a baggy sweater sort of loosely suggesting the concept of the sport. Um, but I specifically want to shout out the soccer and basketball ones because the sample team names that they use on the site are the kickers and the dunkers. Next, I just want to read my favorite copy on the entire website. So there are two Dutch costumes, a boy and a girl, that are intended to be paired together as a tribute to the Kissing Dutch statues, which is a landmark in the Netherlands. Kind of weird to buy this for your goose because you can just buy miniatures of the Kissing Dutch statues. That actually already exists and is a very popular lawn ornament. So it's a little weird to be decorating your lawn ornament as a different lawn ornament. It's kind of like if you were to dress your goose as a lawn flamingo, which you can do with the flamingo costume from gooseclothesgalore.com. Anyway, the Dutch boy just has some normal copy. It's going Dutch, 
then our little Dutch boy outfit is perfect for your little goose. Sure, fine. And then there's the Dutch girl copy. She is sweet. She is innocent. She is bright and cheery. She is the little Dutch girl. And that's how you sell an outfit for a goose. Anyway, let's get to the list. Number 12 is the dancing snowman hat. This is how you incorporate a snowman into your goose's outfit. Don't dress the entire goose as a snowman. You gotta go for this outfit, which comes with a solar-powered dancing snowman on the hat. The brighter the light, the faster the snowman dances. I can only imagine how cute this is. I wish that there were video of it, but I understand the limitations of the Goose Clothes Galore website. <laughs> Number 11, fancy Christmas tree. Another Christmas outfit makes the list. Look how fun this is. The regular Christmas tree outfit is also pretty fun, um, but the fancy one comes with lights that really work. If you're wondering if there are any outfits for non-Christian holidays, the answer is no. Number 10 is Country Boy. Like many of the Goose outfits, this style is gendered. Country Girl confuses me a little bit because she comes with a baby cow. At first I thought that her role as a country girl meant that she was actually assisting in cows giving birth. But then I looked at it more closely and the cow has a skirt and hair. So I guess it's like a baby doll. I guess country girls don't want regular dolls. They just want like rural livestock themed dolls. The whole thing was pretty confusing to me. Um, so I'm just going with country boy. Country boy is holding a little frog that he found and it's got little googly eyes and his shirt has a pattern with little cows on it. And I love him. I would love this goose as if he were my own child. Number nine, frog. Speaking of frogs, just dress your whole goose as a frog. I know I made fun of some of the full body costumes before, but I find this one so funny. It's big blank face with its mouth hanging open. The copy really cinches it for me. Your goose will get loads of smiles. No warts, we promise. When it dons our frog outfit. This full body outfit comes complete with big frog eyes, a full frog body, and is accented with a colorful bow tie for the formal frog occasion. Yes, yes, yes. Number eight is the flower dress. There are so many goose outfits that incorporate flowers, but this one is for the bold customer who wants no subtlety. They love flowers, they love geese, they want the goose to be a flower. I do think the execution isn't great. The green dress, uh, which is supposed to represent a stem, feels baggy and shapeless, probably because it's an impossible task to make the body of a goose look like a flower stem. But this outfit makes the list for its potential. Just picture a yard full of geese in these outfits, creating a sort of cult moment. I think it would be very fun. If I were to get into the lawn goose game, I would use mine to tell stories. When I first found Goose Clothes Galore, I immediately knew I needed to talk about it and took some preliminary notes that I then forgot about for months. One of those notes was apparently, <laughs> I want the bride goose to marry Dracula. <laughs> and I have no memory of writing this. I don't know where that idea came from. God, probably, because it's great. I think I just want more goose vignettes. Do you think that people do little goose nativities with like a little gosling Jesus? I love the world of the goose. I love the world of the goose. Number seven is Sir Goose a lot. I don't have a lot of commentary here. I just think it's really funny. Um, I think it's the juxtaposition of a sword and shield and chainmail on a dopey little goose. However, just to get this out of the way, if you're expecting Lady Goose a lot to show up on this list, don't hold your breath. You could pass this off as like, Renaissance fair enthusiast, fine, but you're trying to say it's a 15th century lady? Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining goose clothes galore. On to number six, shopper. The outfit on its own doesn't do much for me, like I wouldn't personally wear this, but the description is incredible. This little lady knows how to shop. She comes with a hat accented with flowers and a coupon, a dress, shopping bag, and fistfuls of cash. It's true what they say, ganders be shopping. The coupon as an accessory is a very bold design choice. This coupon is just for Cheerios. I assumed this little lady was hitting the mall, treating herself, keeping up with the latest fashions, but no, she is saving money on General Mills cereals at the grocery store. Number five is Noah, like from the Ark. There is no Ark but you can tell it's Noah because he's holding three little animals in his uh, wing hands. The animals are a giraffe, a lion, and an elephant, which the human Noah would not be able to hold, especially all at one time. Really, I just like this because it's such a weird thing to put on a goose in your yard. 
Like, just imagine walking up to your neighbor's house and going, oh, is that is that a goose dressed as Moses or something? And then you look more closely and see the animals, and you're like, oh, I guess it's Noah? Where's the ark? And you look around and you don't see the ark. You will get no answers. Inside, your elderly neighbor is hosting a Bible study and dishing up her famous pretzel salad. Number four, butterfly catcher. This is just adorable. It's a very whimsical outfit for a goose, and I think whimsy is all you should really aspire to here. I don't think you really need to be telling biblical stories via your lawn ornaments. Honestly, you can't go wrong with your goose just being cute, and this outfit is very cute. Unfortunately, the wig is sold separately, but I would consider shelling out for it to complete the look. The best part of the butterfly catcher is the little vignette that it tells the careful observer, and I'll let the website copy explain. Now, where did that butterfly go? The butterfly catcher will add a beautiful and yet comical touch to your goose wardrobe. You see this little lady is out to catch a butterfly. Little does she know, but the butterfly is perched in the flowers on her hat. Oh, <laughs> classic. What a silly mix-up. It's charming. I'm charmed. Coming in at number three is birthday time. I love everything about this goose outfit, starting with the fact that it is called birthday time. <laughs> The copy is just infectiously enthusiastic. It is filled with question marks and exclamation points. Having a birthday? Don't have your goose wearing its birthday suit. Instead, have your goose join the party. It's easy with our birthday time outfit. This outfit includes a birthday hat with matching dress and party favor. The outfit itself is just delightful. Uh, you might be thinking it looks like a clown, but you would be wrong, because Goose Clothes Galore does sell a clown outfit, and it is much sillier than this. The birthday time outfit is just what a goose would wear for a special occasion, and I want to be there for it. I want to party with this goose. Great work. Number two, I'm sure you've been wondering, are any of the goose outfits kinky? And the answer is yes. Just one, and it's Biker Mama. We gotta recognize it. This is the only outfit that goes there. She really stands out from the pack, or the gaggle. Honestly, I... Just think it's so brave to use your lawn to announce to the world that you're a freak in multiple different ways. And finally, number one. This might be controversial. There are a lot of goose outfits making really big swings, and I respect it. But I had to search my heart and ask, what is it that most people would really want for their goose? What would I want if I had a goose? And the answer was clear. It's timeless. It's a classic. It's the yellow raincoat. I just like it. I see this, I think that's what a goose should be wearing. I don't know why I think this. Was there a story about geese and raincoats or like a popular cartoon figure from my childhood? Uh, I've tried Googling and I got no answers. So please do leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Drop a comment below if you think geese belong in raincoats. I don't know why this feels so right, but it does, doesn't it? It does. Yellow raincoats and geese go together like country boys and frogs. I stand by my answer. It's number one. A lot of great work from Goose Clothes Galore. Um, I don't know that I recommend them per se, because I do suspect I probably wouldn't agree with their politics. At the top of their homepage, there's an announcement that all of their goose outfits are handcrafted in the USA by proud Americans, which can be a dog whistle. And then there's a call out of rival goose outfit retailers. Warning, goose clothes sold by Miles Kimball and many others are being mass produced in communist China under unknown conditions. I can't say for sure, but it feels like Communist China is doing a lot of lifting there. Anyway, I do recommend reading Julie Beck's article for The Atlantic on the lawn goose phenomenon. It's just full of really great details. She interviews two different people about their lawn geese, and they both named theirs Goosey. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me. I love the goose community now. If your beloved concrete goose were naked on your lawn, what outfit would you buy to conceal its shameful nudity? Leave a comment to let me know your ideal goose ensemble. Uh, shout out to Astronaut Club for my music. Please subscribe because it helps me. And please like this video because a well-liked YouTuber is a happy YouTuber.